to Enhancing Education Through the Foundation. I'm Vicki Quisenberry. I'm the Executive Director of the Foundation for Davis County Public Schools. Today I have two wonderful gentlemen with me. I have Mr. Dale Stewart. I have Mr. Gary Keller. Um, Dale, tell me a little bit about yourself and your involvement in Davis County Public Schools. Well, I uh, spent 30 years at, at Apollo High School. Started out as a social studies teacher, coach, um, in the administration. Uh, finished my career in 2002 as, as principal of Apollo High School. Uh, just I, just like uh, Gary, had a tremendous passion for the school, still do, uh -huh. and, we, and we both still support uh, not only the, our high schools, but the Davis County Public School System, and uh, it's been very good to us. Great, great. Now, uh, Gary, tell me a little bit about, about your, your hurrah at Davis County. Uh, well, I spent all 33 years in the Davis County Public School System, uh, from uh, kindergarten, teaching phys physical education uh, in elementary school up through and I finished my career as principal at Davis County High School. Uh, one thing, and, and Dale wouldn't brag on himself, but it, we both have the distinction and the honor of being uh, Kentucky State Principals of the Year, both Dale and I, which I think speaks well for both our high schools and in, in our careers. And I know that's something he's proud of as I am. Um, I retired in 2000 and uh, have been a happy camper since. And uh, <laughs> like Dale, I support the school system and, and uh, the high schools and, and uh, we both are interested in athletics as former coaches. So we still have a good time. Great, great. Well, one thing that I'm very thrilled to have your participation in is with the foundation, with our Alumni Relations Committee and that kind of thing. We have a wonderful event coming up on October the 28th. Dale, can you tell us a little bit about yeah, the event? We're excited about that. Uh, October the 28th, uh, we'll be bringing in our two distinguished alumni, which we'll talk about later. Uh, the Apollo, Lisa, the Apollo uh, recipient will speak, Lisa Risley will speak at uh, 930 at Apollo High School to the senior class. And uh, then at, uh, I believe, 1 o'clock at Davis County High, and I think uh, uh, Gary's going to introduce, I'll let him talk about that, the recipient there, but uh, we'll be speaking there. And then at uh, 5 o'clock at, at Apollo High School, we'll be having a reception, and uh, it'll be in the library. And we want everybody to come if they can. We're going to have gonna be some publicity, I'm sure, in the paper about it. And we'll be presenting both recipients with a uh, uh, with a pretty nice uh, 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 oh, something that they'll tre treasure for the rest of their lives. And uh, we hope to get everybody as, as many people as we can there. And then at about ten minutes before the ball game, mm -hmm. we're going to make a presentation at midfield for uh, for for both recipients and. Uh, Really looking forward to it. Great, great. Well, uh, Gary, I know you know the recipient at Davis County very well. Um, Harper Cook is going to be our recipient <coughs> this year from Davis County High School. Can you tell us a little bit about Harper? Well, Harper, obviously, uh, <clears throat> with the career he has had in the uh, service in the military, uh, a graduate, 1989 graduate of Davis County, went to uh, Rhodes College in Memphis, Tennessee. From there, <clears throat> he went into the service and. Uh, He's got a bachelor's degree in international studies, and from there he, um, through the Army, the kind effort of the Army, sent him to law school in South Carolina. And from there he has become uh, part of the JAG system in the Army, has been everywhere in the world, probably spent a lot of time in the Middle East. And uh, one of his uh, bosses was... General Petraeus. Wow, and he he was pretty pretty high up in the was, uh, yeah. the hierarchy there. He, with General he used Petraeus, to tell me Petraeus, how fun that he? was and what he thought of General <laughs> Petraeus. So, you know, I you know I think everyone uh, really uh, probably has a lot of regard for General Petraeus. Mm -hmm. But uh, and from there he has progressed uh, thousands of different things he's done, and we'll tell you more about that one on on Wars Night, so we can kind of glorify his uh, career because it's been really outstanding. He's now uh, in Leavenworth, Kansas, as the uh, Army uh, um, court-martial judge for all the Army. So his status is, keeps growing, and uh, he's a full colonel. And so we look forward to, to greeting him again and seeing him again as he has uh, 
grown into an outstanding individual. Wonderful, wonderful. It was always exciting to hear about how wonderful our alumni are doing and, and the wonderful contributions they're, not, they're making to not only our community, but to the world as well. Right. Okay, now the, the alumni that's being honored this year from Apollo High School is Lisa Risley, and she has had an extremely exciting career as well. Can she, you tell us a little has, bit about and Lisa? And first of all, I want to say, uh, you know, as director of, of, of that committee, it's been a joy for me, like this year, to make that phone call to uh, Colonel Cook and to Lisa and to just hear their excitement uh -huh. and the fact that, they, that, that uh, the school system thought enough of, to, to uh, present them with this honor, and, uh, and it's, it's, just a, it's just a fun thing to do. But uh, going back to Lisa, she graduated in 77 from, uh, from Apollo. She, all that's the Beta Club, National Honor Society, Gary, you appreciate that. She wanted me to make sure to mention she was a football manager <laughs> at, at, at Apollo. I didn't remember that. But graduated in 77, went to Murray. In 84, she actually uh, joined the uh, Secret Service. Kind of ran in her, her bloodline. Her dad was an FBI agent, and I knew, I knew him before. And uh, his, by the way, most people know Lisa's mother, Donna. She is kind of... Uh, Kind of Miss Theater. Miss Theater, right, right, right. I mean, right. when you mention a theater workshop or anything like that, Donna Risley is usually the first person you uh -huh. think about. So she went to Secret Service in 84. I saw, I've saw, i seen Lisa once since uh, uh, since she graduated, and that was actually, she was on the detail for Vice President Dan Quayle. Uh, Gary was there at the executive end, and we, we talked briefly there, but uh, she was there at that point. Probably distinguished her career even more by going into administration with the Secret Service in 2005. Was uh, was chosen in their senior executive committee. 2008 was actually made an assistant director for the Secret Service. Wow, uh, that's pretty high up there yeah. in that in in that hierarchy yeah. as well. And in, uh, retired from Secret Service in 2010. In 2012, she joined uh, uh, the Inspector General's office and became an assistant director for the Inspector General's office wow. in charge of investigation. So, so a career after yeah, a career. Both wow. recipients, tremendous uh, careers. And the one thing, it, was, it wasn't by design, but I think one of the neat things about this year is we got these people, Colonel Cook and Lisa, who not only have these great careers, but they did it in service to their country. Right, right. right. And I think that's that's makes it even better. It does. Yeah. It does. Well, we certainly do appreciate the contributions that our alumni have made to our community and especially what these two gentlemen have made to our community. We certainly appreciate you all being a part of our foundation and working with our alumni. We hope everyone will join us on October the 28th. Again, if you will join us at the reception at the Apollo High School Library, that, that event starts at 5 o'clock and will last until about 6.30 or until we can get out to the football field. Around uh, quarter of seven, 10 till seven, we're going to make the presentation to our two alumni. We will present them with a very nice memento, which is also handcrafted by one of our Davis County Public School alumni as well. Uh, we are looking forward to seeing you, but we do need to know if you're coming. If you could let, give me a call at 270-231-5583 or shoot me an email, Vicki Q, V I C K I Q, at foundation for dcps.org so that we know that you're coming. We're looking forward to seeing you at our alumni event in which we will honor Lisa Risley and Colonel Harper Cook. Thank you and have a great day.